Hey everyone, welcome back for another video. Uh, I know it's been a while, thank you for supporting the channel, thank you for commenting on the videos, I'll try to respond as much as I can, it's been pretty busy, it's been pretty hectic. Hopefully, when we launch what we are working on, I'll be able to share with you guys what I do, what we build, and uh, you know, what, who do I work for, and all of that. Um, so, but for now, we'll keep it as is, building simulators, building uh, flight and racing simulators, and eventually uh, I'll share everything else with you guys. Um, I wanted to share a lot of stuff that I have been actually, that I've been received, that I received from, from Fanatec, but I want to introduce a new series into the channel. And this is more, I mean, we've been focused a lot on uh, racing simulators. Uh, what I am planning to do next is I'm rebuilding my flight sim um, in a way from the ground up. So I want to take that since that is happening, I want to take the opportunity um, of, you know, creating a series, creating these videos, again, to help everyone who's planning to build something from scratch. It's not, it's not easy unless, you know, you know what you're doing, unless you've done it before, you read about it, you, you know, you, 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 you experienced it yourself. So, and I know it, it gets, there's a lot of questions that are going to come up. So I wanted to make it easier for someone who's, who's, who's going to build it. Uh, for this one, I'm going to also have the, uh, the parts list, everything that I've done, you know, the, the stuff that I bought, what I've used, um, to do this. And I am mimicking my, uh, flight sim based on a 737-800. Uh, and I'm building the, the, the MIP, the, the captain side MIP. I'm not building the whole first officer and captain MIP. It's going to be the cap, the, uh, the, the captain side MIP. So I'm going to go over what I'm going to, you know, the, what, what did I buy? Where did I buy it from? And uh, what I'm going to use for this build. And if you take around, you know, I'm going to show you a little bit around the room. But you see what happened here. I mean, sorry about the, the mess. I had to disconnect everything. I had, you know, if you remember, I had the flight simulator here. So I had to disconnect everything um, and I actually replaced my TVs. I had um, 55 inch uh, LED TVs here, Samsung. So I replaced these with the Samsung's uh, S90D, which is the uh, four, uh, 48 inch OLED uh, TVs. Uh, pretty awesome. Uh, it, it, these ones are the LG, so they're, all, they're all also 48 on my racing um, rig. But I decided to go Samsung because I heard this, you know, the Samsung TVs, the OLED ones, the S90Ds are actually better than the C4's um, LGs. And I actually love them. I um, I tried uh, Flight Simulator 2024 on them and it looks amazing. Too bad I can't play it because I basically, like you see, I, I took everything off. Um, so yeah, sorry about the mess. I know it's it's, it's messy, but um yeah everything is on the floor so this is the yoke um this is the overhead panel um this is the um rudder right there so everything is connected this is the seat with the motion um with the uh, next level motion i think yeah next level racing uh seat mover it's right here um yeah so again my throttle right here um sorry i know i hate my room being like this but it is what it is and like I said, I, I got a lot of new stuff from Fan Attack that I'm really excited to share with you guys. Uh, no matter how much we talk about simulator, uh, you know, flight sim, we're always going to go back and, and talk about the, um, <coughs> sorry, the um, uh, racing stuff. So this is their new uh, GT3 Endurance um, wheel. I received it yesterday. I also got for Black Friday, they had this deal on the um, rally wheel. Uh, Sparkle, pretty awesome wheel, and I haven't even tested or even tried these yet. Um, I also, this is a pretty awesome deal. Uh, I know it's an old wheel. Uh, I just also got it yesterday. It was for 199. It, it had free shipping, and it had a free QR, uh, a free QR too. Uh, so might as well. I just took advantage of that offer, and that thing cost me 200 bucks. So I could not say no to that. And I also got the this this wheel here. The the uh, also on Black Friday the Forza motorsport wheel and um, and again i have not tested any of these i know it's connected to this rig but i haven't even tested any of that so i got like one two three four wheels um that um four wheels i think yeah oh no 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 sorry 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 and i also got the red bull ah i got the red bull uh limited edition uh wheel um that they also had and of course it had to be right here it had to sit right here 
next to um, uh, next to the um, uh, F1 Formula One car. Uh, yep. Uh, so yeah, I don't have any more room to put any more wheels. So I gotta get creative. And for that, I bought <laughs> these things that Fanatec just came up with, the QR2 wall mounts. I think each, each box has three. So I got like four of them. So I have like 12. And my plan is to maybe use this wall right here to either, you know, put maybe a couple shelves uh, for the all my racing uh, shoes right here. And maybe for the additional wheels um, that I got. Uh, yep, yeah. and uh, something else that I got is I replaced my Thrustmaster um, um, flight stick with the uh, Moza um, direct uh, drive uh, well, thumbstick. So, well, sorry, um, stick, which is flight stick. So yeah, um, it's here. I've actually tried this. It's pretty awesome. I can also do another video on it. Uh, but he, yeah, yeah. So there's a lot of, a lot of cool stuff, a lot of cool stuff, but I haven't had the chance to really play with it all. And, um, yeah. So, uh, I'll give you an idea for the preparation and what I'm trying to do. And, uh, we'll take it from there. So you see guys right here is the, all of the stuff that I'm going to be using on the MIP um, captain side for the simulator that I'm building. Um, of course, I have the CDU. This is the uh, gear up, gear down. All of that is in here. So we'll go over the plans, what I'm planning to build, and, and all of that. This is gonna be pretty awesome. And here, guys, is where I'm getting my garage ready. So you see, I already got the tools ready it's all in my garage i've got the wood i've got the um uh, table saw uh the nail gun the jigsaw right here of course the emitter saw everything is ready all the all the wood and the tools that i need to make this an awesome build and of course i'm going to paint it and uh, i haven't uh, uh the the nail the the paint gun somewhere here Yep, so it's right here. So I'm gonna use um, a paint gun uh, to do the painting. And you see this one here is also part of the 737 and that is basically the pedestal, the pedestal bay uh, that sits next to the pilot. So I'm gonna be using that with all the equipment in it. So we'll go over all of that. This is basically showing you what I'm planning to do, what I'm planning to build, but we will actually go through all of this and I'm gonna do a step-by-step -step video on how I'm building it, what I'm building it, the the measurements that I'm using, the tools that I'm using, and all the equipments that I have in my simulator. This way, if you want to build it, it's right there for you. I know it's 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 not easy. It's 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 hard. It's a hard task. It's, it's complicated. It can get daunting. So hopefully, this series will make it much easier for you and better.